Do you guys like going to a buffet? Because I do. I mean, who wouldn't like a good buffet, right? You pay one time and you get unlimited amount of food. But can you go to a buffet with just $10 in Korea? What? Is that even possible? Of course it is. Well, I'm so proud to see women raising their voices about politics in my country. Korea's come a long way. Where was I? Yeah, so $10. Even in Korea, $10 is not a lot of money for dining out. But you guys know me, I have knowledge. So, buffet restaurants under $10. Let's go find out what they're like. Hey guys, it's me again. And guess what? I found this all-you-can-eat Korean barbecue restaurant that's just under $10. Oh yeah, you heard that right. This place is 13,001, and that's $9.25 in US dollars. Now, dining in Korea is generally cheaper than the US, but $9.25 for a barbecue buffet? That's like getting a Big Mac meal. And I heard that Americans eat like five of those in one city. The $10 price tag includes unlimited amounts of meat, some Korean side dishes to go with the barbecue, and even white rice. As soon as I got here, they just left me with a piece of pork fat. This is not for consumption, however. It's for greasing and cleaning the pan so that the meat doesn't stick to it. The meat that I like to start with at an all-you-can-eat Korean barbecue is typically the beef brisket. It's frozen meat and there's nothing fancy about it, but I just love the simplicity of it. But wait, I forgot to get the side dishes. They had this prison-style metal food tray for the side dishes, which I thought was really convenient and weirdly familiar. I felt like I used it for years in the past. And then I realized that I was in prison. It's called the Korean military. Ah, good old days. Anyway, doesn't this look nice? Got everything in this one food tray. This reminds me of the times when I was in the Korean military. Nostalgic and traumatizing at the same time. Back to the grill, you'll notice that the pan slightly slanted, and that is to drain the oil. I'm going to place the kimchi on the lower side of the pan, and this way the fat from the meat will flow down like a mighty river of calories. And I can use that to fry the kimchi. Oh, be quiet, Jemmy. We just want to know if the food is any good. Alright, like I always say, once you put it in your mouth, you'll know if it's true love. First bite, very satisfied. Alright, let's be honest here. I've had better, but this is more than decent. How about some of that cooked kimchi? Especially with the kimchi, and for what I'm paying, I don't see how I can even complain about this. Do you guys remember this trick? Get lettuce, meat on top, some of them green onions, garlic, maybe some kimchi in there too. Wrap it up nicely. Guys, next time you get Korean barbecue, please try this. The only thing that I'm missing here is a friend so that we can feed each other. <laughs> Imagine having friends. <laughs> okay, I'm all warmed up now. Let's get some serious meat. This is like the most basic form of Korean barbecue, pork belly. I like how there's not too much fat. Some people like it that way, I don't. Pork belly and pork shoulder, these are arguably the most popular cuts of the pork for Korean barbecue. And even at a buffet, they're almost guaranteed to taste half decent. Oh look, somebody really knows how to cook Korean barbecue. Doesn't that look fantastic? Perfectly aligned. A good piece of pork belly and some kimchi with it. It's a match made in heaven. I felt really nostalgic because as a teenager without a lot of friends, I used to come to a barbecue place like this by myself to get a year's worth of protein. I was very pleased with the pork belly. It was almost like it's not all you can eat quality. Let's try some marinated pork ribs and some duck meat. Do you guys remember that pork fat from earlier? Well, this is how you're supposed to use it. A fresh new star for your grill. Kind of like a divorce. And just like a divorce, it's not so clean that it looks like nothing was ever there. But you move on to the next one anyway, you know? So when you get Korean barbecue with Koreans, you'll notice that they tend to get the marinated meat at the end. And that's because by the end, you get tired of the oily flavor of other parts, and the sauce will burn on the grill, and kind of ruin the other things that you cook on it later. 
And by the way, the pork rib here was okay. Some Korean dog meat. Not dog, duck. Imagine if this was some factory farm chihuahua meat. I'm just kidding guys, the weather doesn't seem right for that kind of Korean barbecue today. Besides, I'm kinda like a dog myself. I don't believe in leftovers. Now, I haven't tried everything they have, but I feel like I tried the best of what they have. They also had gobchang, which is pork intestines, but I decided not to get it because gobchang comes with some micro pieces of Mr. Hanky, you know? Gosh, you're looking swell! Overall, great for what I had to pay. Especially for somebody who likes to eat a lot of meat in one sitting. Like me. Oh god, I had so much of that pork belly. I think, I think I'm pregnant with the little piglet in my belly. Oh god, am I becoming a mother? Well, they say mothers are powerful and I like power. Okay, let's try the second place. This time I want to get a little fancy and try something western. And this is the place that I found. Their buffet lunch was only 13,000 won. Again, that's $9.25. Turns out this place is pretty fantastic. They have real oven baked pizzas. But they also had other more hotel buffet like hot foods, a DIY udon station, a shaved ice maker, soda machine, and desserts. At this point, what am I waiting for? Let's go get some food. I love pizza. In fact, I love pizza more than any Korean food. Who knew that there's a ticket to heaven and it's $9. The buffet was so cheap that I was worried that they might be serving frozen pizza, but they were actually making and baking these things here. Supposedly this is taco. You'll have a similar experience in Korea when you go out for international food, where the restaurant claims that this food is from a certain country, but it looks nothing like how they make it in their country. It's like Korea's own idea on what they think it should look like. In Korea's defense, it doesn't necessarily taste bad, it's just different from the original. Now this is such a great feeling, returning to the table with plates full of food. It's my personal opinion, but pizza's generally not that good in Korea. The pizzas here I would say are just about average in Korean standards, which is still enjoyable to me. I mean considering that it's an affordable buffet, I'm more surprised that it's not terrible. But here's something that can be terrible, it's the pineapple pizza. I mean, just who made this? Why did anybody think this is a good idea, you know? Pineapple and pizza is like chocolate sushi. They just don't belong together. I'm not hating, I'm just saying. While I'm here, I tried to make the udon as well. I mean, let's be real here. How good could it be? It's more for the fun of making it. Meanwhile, my friend wanted to try making his own waffles. Isn't this cute? Two Korean guys weighing over 200 pounds making udon and waffles together. So waffles are actually street food in Korea, and they usually have apple jam and whipping cream. Oh, this is the authentic Korean waffle. 어릴 때 학교 앞에서 먹던 그 맛이지. All right, looking good. Fold it over. Yes. Um. Are we being weirdly cute or what? The udon that I made was pretty decent, kind of like what you get as a side dish in a Japanese restaurant owned by Chinese people. I'm not sure if that's a compliment, but that's what it tasted like. And I'm sorry, they didn't have chopsticks. I got some desserts for myself as well. I have to say, they look pretty decent for a buffet. It wasn't a masterpiece of a dessert, but I would say it was like a notch below Starbucks desserts. Which isn't a great achievement by any means, but it's still up to my old Korean dude standards. They even had the coffee as well. That was amazing! Not gonna lie, it was a lot better than I expected. It was such a pleasant experience just because they had a good variety and fun things to do. I mean, definitely not the best pizza I've ever tasted. Is it one of the best $9 buffet deals that I've had? I think so. So, you think $10 is still a lot of money? Well, I think so too. I don't make a lot of money from YouTube. But what if I told you that there's a place where you can get all you can eat Korean buffet for just 5 US dollars? It's hard for me to believe too. So let's go find out if it's any good. And here we are. This buffet restaurant is 8,000 Korean won, which is $5.70 in US dollars. They have a solid selection of Korean foods such as kalguksu, hand-cut noodles, marinated pork, Korean-style pancake, and a good variety of Korean side dishes. And let me tell you as a Korean, they looked good. They even had some good vegetables, and a little soda machine that has a choice between Pepsi and Fanta. And all this for $5? My mind was absolutely blown. Here's some of that white rice. 
Isn't it kind of cool they have this Korean style curry? Ah, 네, 감사합니다. Did you hear that? So to be fair, it's not like they had all kinds of choices when it comes to the variety. But to me, it felt like they really made sure that all of their food met pretty high standards. And I really appreciated how there's no processed food that came out of a package. They actually made everything in the kitchen. I guess some of their greens too, you know. Wow, these are like my mom's Korean food, except it's better than my mom's Korean food because abuse is not included in the menu. I'm honestly convinced that this might be the best $5 that you can spend in Korea. I'm Korean myself, so when I look at Korean food, I know if it's good. My friends, let me tell you, this is good Korean food. Now, this is kind of cool. This is actually acorn jelly. This is kind of like tofu that you make with acorn powder. It's very slippery. It's very much like happiness to me. When I feel like I almost have it, it slips right out. But don't forget guys, things can slip out of your hands, but you can always pick them back up. So I got a little more food. A little more white rice because I'm Korean. I just think white rice is great. Some more of that marinated spicy pork. Some of them chun, which is like Korean pancakes. And they even had this kalbuksu, which is really cool. And I gotta say, even the noodles weren't bad at all. The thing about going to a buffet for me, I always end up finding one or two things that I really like, and I just get a lot of that. When you're done with the food, you simply return the plates. And you have to get this coffee whether you like it or not, because it's free. Nothing like some good coffee after some good Korean food. Whew. Can't deny, that was pretty good. I think this might be my favorite place out of the three. It's such a great deal and people are so nice over here. You see guys, I could have had more food. But the point of going to a buffet is not to prove to yourself that you can eat a lot. It's not a competition. It's kind of like life. It's easy to believe that it's a competition, but it's really not. It's about making the best out of the time that you have. And today, I feel like I did that. Well, talking about making the best out of your time, are you guys making the best out of your time by watching my other videos? By following me on Instagram? No? Well, there's a good start for you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Goodbye.